let's use the pillow for getting a deeper connection with our abs. And I like this because, as you'll see, we can always put it under our lower back if we need some support. If you're not feeling a little, uh, you know, as, as good in your lower back. Or you can put it under your head. So it's always a great prop to have around. So here we go. I'm going to start sitting up. I'm going to put the pillow between my inner thighs. And I'm going to pull up nice and tall and just squeeze and squeeze. As I'm doing that, I'm pulling my shoulders down and I'm lifting myself even taller. Good. Take a nice breath in. Inhale. Exhale. And I'm going to roll on back. Roll on back. Roll on back. And hold. So I'm going to start by squeezing the ball, the ball, the pillow, and squeeze and release. Keeping that tailbone down. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. And again. Squeeze and release. Two more. Squeeze and release. One more. Squeeze, hold. Two, three, four, and rest. Now I'm going to take my hands behind my head. I'm going to exhale. I'm going to squeeze the pillow and curl and come back down. And two. And back down. Exhale. Three. And back down. And four. And back down. Five, back, six, back, seven, and eight, and nine. Last one, here we go, and little pulses up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold and come on back down. So you're gonna feel that in the upper abdominals and you'll feel those inner thighs working. All right, so now I'm gonna curl my tailbone under just a little bit and take my legs into tabletop. I'm gonna exhale, curl, and come back. So my knees come towards me just a little bit and release. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. It's up and down and up. One more. Breathe up, and now I'm going to come cross, cross, and back, squeeze those legs, and back, squeeze, and back, squeeze, and back, squeeze, and back, squeeze, and back. Two more, squeeze, and back. Last one, squeeze, and rest. I'm going to take the pillow out, and just take a little stretch. Knees go to one way, my pillow goes the other way. And back to center and over good all right so now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna lift the hips and I'm gonna put my pillow underneath me now I'm not going back too far I'm gonna make sure that the pillow starts at the beginning of my lower back it's gonna take me into a little teeny pelvic tilt and I'm gonna take my legs straight up to the ceiling oh this feels so good hamstring stretch lower back stretch some people work the best this way. So if you're one of them, always have a pillow around. And I'm going to start with my bicycle. Super long in those legs, reaching out. Reach, stretch, stretch, reach. Breathe. And reverse. Sometimes reverse is hard for people. Your brain kind of takes a second. So don't worry about that. Reach, stretch, stretch, reach reach two more one more bend both knees in good and when you bring the knees in it feels so good on the lower back so let's do some knee stirs hands on each knee and stir it around and up and two and up and three reverse around and up and two one more and three i'm going to push my legs out now to tabletop knee over my hip Abdominals in. I'm going to take one foot down and come up. This is called toe taps. And lift. Inhale. Exhale. Engage. And up. And up. So usually when there's a pillow underneath you, you're going to keep your head down. And lift. Lift. Up. Up. Each time that rib cage stays closed, that belly is in. Last two. Last one, and hold. 
chakra and the knees in for your rest in between. I'm gonna turn the legs out a little bit, heels together, and this is called frog, and stretch it up. You decide where you go. Uh, you can go up to the ceiling, you can go at 45 degrees, or you can go lower. You wanna challenge yourself, but you wanna be always aware of what's good for your body. Reach, stretch, the shoulders are rolling back. Two more, reach one more, and reach and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and in. And last thing here, let's do our leg lowers, legs up to the ceiling. Now they can be straight or they can be bent. It depends on how you feel. And here we go, we're gonna lower down, lower and lift. We're gonna flex the feet this time. Inhale, exhale, lift, point the toes. Lower, lift, flex. Lower, lift, point. Lower, lift, flex. And up, point. Lower, lift, flex. Lower, lift, point. Lower, lift, one more. And we're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. I'm gonna hold one leg in, stretch one leg out for my psoas stretch, releasing my hip flexor and switching to the other side. Good. And back, back in. Great, put your feet down, lift the hips up and slowly come on down, come on down, come on down. Let's put this right between the inner thighs. Let's finish up with this. Curling the tailbone under, hip presses, and here we go, press, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. hold, squeeze it in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. hold, press up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, squeeze it in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last set, it's up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, squeeze it in, last set, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, and come on down. You're gonna take the pillow out, let the legs open just for a little rest, roll onto your side, and now you're ready to go out for a walk or a run.